folks. Welcome back. Please comment, rate, subscribe, folks. Comment, rate, subscribe, like the videos. Also, share the videos. I want to thank you folks for watching, liking, and sharing my videos. You people are the absolute best. Just came from watching the Jets game. Oh, man. Jets beat the Dolphins 22-21. to That was an extremely close game. And it was ugly. Um, I thank my lucky stars that we got ourselves that pass interference call. Because if we didn't, we would have been backed up on fourth down and we would have had to go for it. And I don't think we would have won that game. I really, really don't. I think, you know, the Dolphins end up taking it. And so I thank goodness, thank, thank everything that we got that. Okay? Because, man, this was, this was horrible. The fact that the Dolphins were in this football game and, and could have beat us and probably should have beat us and they didn't even score an offensive touchdown, they didn't score a touchdown in this game. Their kicker did all the work. And we're lucky that he actually missed a field goal in this game. Or, or would, anything that we would have did before, wouldn't have mattered. We, would have had, we would, wouldn't have been able to kick a field goal and take the game. Whew. Adam Gaze is, man, let me tell you something. The lack of adjustments in this game, particularly in the second half offensively, that hurt us more than damn near anything else. I mean, he just does the same thing over and over. We, what do we talk about every week with Sam? How Sam needs to be rolled out the pocket. And he's not doing that. He has Sam dropping back behind an offensive line, standing there like a statue, and the offensive line couldn't protect him like they do on a weekly basis. They can't hold up for that long. We all know that. So why don't you do something else? <sighs> Sam didn't have his best day either. He missed throws. Um, he also got a cut on his hand. I don't know how much that was affecting his play as well. Um, he took shots, but he did miss throws. Um, he, he was underthrowing guys. He was overthrowing guys. He missed Robbie wide open more than once in this game. Uh, he missed Crowder on a crossing route where Crowder was open. He just threw it late. He was, he was seeing things late, and I don't know, again, that may be an effect of just being afraid of the rush. He might be staring at the rush first and then missing guys, eyes coming up late. That could be a factor, but Sam just didn't have his best day, man. He really did not, uh, but he did just enough. He had a critical interception in this game as well that I did not like, um, but man, I mean, it is what it is. I also want you folks to comment down below on this as well because there's some fans already that I've seen on social media calling him a bust, talking about how, you know, he's not a franchise quarterback and this is the game where you guys can see that he's not the real deal. I want to get you folks' thoughts about him. So comment down below. There's no question in my mind that he's a franchise quarterback. I think he's the guy. But, you know, I'm just hearing a lot of different things from a lot of different fans. So I want to hear from you people. The running game. Uh, more kind of ho-hum stuff where we're rushing up the middle consistently. Um, Bilal Powell had 19 carries in this game. So that's nine more than <laughs> Le'Veon Bell got, you know. So and, and Ty Montgomery was sprinkled in there as well. So, But there was a lot of drops as well from our wide receivers. There was drops. I think Crowder had, had a drop. I know Demarius Thomas had a drop. I think he had more than one drop. Um... So that, that continues to plague us as well. It's the offense looked bad, really bad, especially in the second half. They looked, they looked really bad. Defense, whoa. <laughs> the defense was kind of bend but don't break. They, a lot of penalties, first off. A lot of penalties that helped ex extend the Dolphins' drives. Killed us. There was an early face mask, I think, by Quentin Williams, who ended up <laughs> he ended up leaving the game eventually because of a stinger. He didn't do too, too much in this game. Still waiting on him to kind of come around. Um, comment down below. Let me know what you think about Quentin Williams because I know a lot of people have a lot, a lot of things to say about him. <laughs> um, man. But, you know, there was that. There was a lot of, uh, there was a roughing the passer call to help extend the drive as well. Um, there was just a lot of calls by the, you know, on this Jets defense that really helped the Dolphins just get out of sticky situations, and that didn't help us at all. Um, you know, we couldn't get our hands on Ryan Fitzpatrick. This dude is as slippery as 
you know, I don't know what, man. Is is does he coat himself in like cooking oil or something? <laughs> like what is going? He just slides out of everything, dude. He was running around like crazy in this game. Running around like crazy. We could not just just keep him in the pocket and get him down. This guy was moving. He was juking. He was jumping forward and, you know, getting first downs or just getting out of bad situations. We just could not get this guy down. Damn, man. <laughs> like, that just, that pissed me off so much. And again, the defense did, you know, it, it was a bimba don't break. They didn't get into the end zone, but they had a lot of drives where their kicker was able to finish it off. Man, so frustrating. So frustrating watching this game, and it really, again, came down to that last call, that pass interference call that we got, uh, where they went and reviewed it. You know, that was smartly done to throw the challenge flag and get that call reviewed, and we got the pass interference call, and we were able to kick a goal and let it go and take a W. Because, man, if you don't get that call, it is fourth and long. This was ugly, man. This was ugly. And, and again, in this game, the holes in coaching are glaring. The holes in the coaching are glaring. The holes in the roster are glaring. Glaring. You can see it, dude. You can see that we're not being coached right, and you can also see that there's issues elsewhere. Look, I'll take a W any day of the week over L. I will take this W you know, I'm not walking around with a frown on my face. Look, it was ugly, but we won. But, man, when you're competing against a Dolphins team, a Dolphins team that is complete trash, they're starting a ton of rookies. You know, they got a bunch of guys that they're signing like a couple days before we play, and they don't score an offensive touchdown, and they are still in the game and could have beat us. If that doesn't concern you know some other Jets fans, I, I don't know what to tell you. It's a big concern for me. And you gotta point directly at Adam Gaze for that. So with all of it, the, the nasty play of Darnold, the the dealing with Gaze, the defense, the issues we had up front, again, a W is a W and I will take it. All right. Folks, comment down below. Let me know what you people think about this game. Let me know what you think about Sam Darnold, Quinton Williams, Adam Gaze. Um, you know, a W is a W and I'll take it. But, man, I'm, I'm definitely worried. So, you folks have a good one. Peace.